Hey everybody, um, gonna continue work on the good old Battle Beast Dragon Sword over there. <laughs> so, uh, tune in. Um, I think one of you wanted to keep watching this, so, one of you wants to keep watching it, I'll make this video for one of you. <laughs> anyway, alright, uh, let me show you the progress. <sighs> okay. So, if you guys remember in the last episode, I painted the eyes. Today I'm gonna outline these babies with black, so they look a little. Hold on, so they look a little bit better. There we go. That's as you can see, like it kind of bled into and over. So I'm gonna make that look a little bit better. Uh, let's see, pterodactyl red here. You can kind of see it uh, spilled over a little bit here and there, but it's not too bad. I think, uh, considering that this was hand-painted with a brush, it looks pretty good. So, I don't know how much more red I'm gonna go with that one. And Mastodon eyes are looking good. Everything's within the well. So, I'll probably outline these with black as well. Also on the inside. So yeah, I think that's that's what I'm going to be doing today. So, just wanted to film a little bit of the before and after. So, I've never used these babies before. These are called Stater, Marsh, whatever, blah blah blah. But uh, they have this black ink. And each one has, you know, different diameters uh, of holes. So... I'm gonna fill one of them up and uh, see see how it goes. Wahoo! And this guy, I mean, depending on the ink and how well it goes, I might do a little bit more uh, panel lining or something like that. But I'm pretty much gonna leave him alone. Uh, I might not do anything at all. He's he's done. I'm only working on the auxiliary swords for now. All right. All right. I'm not gonna bore you guys with. Uh, with all of this, but first I have to fill up the ink pens because they're professional or whatever. Uh, I also didn't mention this is the secret weapon that I enjoy using. It's called Robin Buff. Um, I guess you can get these at what do you call them? Craft stores or whatnot, but they sell different metals uh, chrome, silver, gold, brass, bronze, copper, whatever. And uh, this is the best stuff to get pretty much that look. You just have to have the, the right touch for it. That's all. Okay, so watch this. So unfortunately I tried to make that work. The ink was completely like unmixed and separated. It was all lumpy and dry. I just ended up making a whole big mess here. Uh, figures and everything are fine. I didn't even attempt to do any of that, but I tried to fill one of the pens, uh, I don't think it worked out, so basically I need to wait until I can buy some other pens or something. Um, I can't use the brush on that because this stuff, dry, the ink dries too quick, so I'm uh, just gonna put those aside for now. Maybe I can buy some real ink that's not like old and crappy, um, I don't know, but anyway. I'm gonna go online or go to Walmart or something and try to find um, a marker with a very very fine tip like a paint marker so I can um, get back to work on these guys so <sighs> yeah very disappointed for today but uh, it is what it is so uh, that's how it goes during this lockdown I can't just go to a hobby store and buy what I need sadness Alright guys, I got some markers. There were some paint markers there as well, but the paint markers were too thick, so at least I got it, so. But now I'm gonna do a little bit of toy shopping, so uh, let's see, a little bit of hunting. Alright, so watching a little bit of MMPR toys there. Just came back from uh, Walmart, picked up my Sharpies. Uh, gonna get back to work on this good old stuff. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I'm gonna test it out right now. Uh, see if um, 
the marker are actually gonna stick to some of this plastic or the red paint so uh yeah wish me luck guys i'll test it out and then um after i test it out on a piece that's not you know subject to be shown like maybe oh excuse me you know what yeah i can do this in front of you guys on the back of this pterodactyl not on rexy so all right wish me luck bruno <laughs> okay cool 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 let's see um, 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 I guess anywhere, it doesn't really matter at this point. Hmm. I may have made a mistake. Looks like it's bunching up. That's very unfortunate. Dang it. Well, I'll let it dry. Let's see, let me... Fill up that. Yeah, I'm not liking this. This kind of sucks. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see after it dries if it actually stays. Because, I mean, technically that could still work. So, we'll see. Alright. Okay, man, people really need to uh, leave Bruno alone with their complaints about, like... Uh, you know, him complaining or anything like that. They're not complaining about anything. Um, like, Bruno and Mia are, like, awesome. And they make awesome videos. I don't understand why people are giving them, like, a hard time about anything, really. Like, they make good videos. If you like them, watch them. If you don't like them, don't watch them. Anyway, keep it going, Bruno. <laughs> okay, back to my uh, thing here. Uh, so, this is before as you guys saw in the last video and this is me going over it with it it is kind of bunching up unfortunately but i feel like I'm, if i let this dry and then go over it again it will cover it up again so i don't know we'll see <laughs> ah funny dude all right so let's see how this is doing. It's been a few minutes, maybe five. Let's see. Hmm. Not happy. Dang it. But it is sticking. So I think just let it dry really good and then uh, I'll get back to it. Stick around. Whew. Okay, guys. So. This video is not going to be too long, just wanted to show you my progress. So here we have what I painted yesterday in yesterday's video. And today after I got the black marker, as you can see, like that's quite a bit of an improvement. See, like before, it just looks, you know, obviously unfinished and all that. And after it looks like that. So, I'm going to finish this up, maybe do a little bit in front of you all. Right now I'm using these Sharpie pens. Uh, I don't recommend these, but since I bought them and they're the only things I have, uh, Walmart didn't have too much to offer in as far as choices go. So, unfortunately, this is all I got. <laughs> Excuse me. Alright, so... I mean, this is pretty straightforward, you know, just kind of, I'm basically sticking it right into where that groove is, where the paint filled, and filling it up, filling it in with black. I definitely don't like that. I'm going to use my t-shirt to wipe that off. Wow. So you definitely gotta be careful with this because if you mess up, it definitely smudges in an unwelcome way. Alright. Just gonna finish this up real quick. Really, really, really 
do not recommend this marker. It doesn't stay, it kind of separates, smears itself, really don't like it. But it's better than it was before, kind of like I showed you before. No one's going to look at this with the magnifying glass. All right. So yeah, there we go. As long as it has that nice little black outline, I think uh, I think I'm good to go. I'm going to fix that up a little better, obviously. So <clears throat> the reason why this side looks better is um, I went over it once, let it dry, and then went over it again uh, to fill in the areas that were... Um, you know not nice and straight so we'll see how this works out sorry what I'm doing <laughs> off screen is I wanted to wipe that down more I didn't like how that turned out so I'm just gonna let that dry and uh, get back to it later off camera <clears throat> now this I'm going to do this. All I'm doing here is following the recessed line just to outline it. So I'm going to... My apologies if my shot is not good. I'm not looking at the camera at the moment. Uh oh, there's a couple of paint chips there. Still alright. So yeah, as you can see I'm just doing it a once over. I don't want to mess with this too much. And I will go over it again in, in, I don't know, like an hour or so. Just to make the line a little more bold. That's it. As much as I want to touch up a little more here and there, I'm going to leave that and come back to it later so <clears throat> focus please so yeah right now it doesn't look good but it will when i go over it for the second time so but it already looks better than it did before i think all right let's see how's mastodon looking gonna get rid of these tusks again so they're not in the way all right Cool, cool, cool. My apologies, I'm not talking much. It's very easy to mess up. And to be honest with you, we'll see how this turns out um, down the road. Because I do not like what's happening here. Like, yeah, I said I'm gonna go over this again. But, uh... I'm just not enjoying this. It's not... It's just not sticking to the paint. Like this would be good for panel lining and stuff because you don't need it to be clean but the results i'm looking for are crisp and clear outlines for these eyes if you're a customizer please uh suggest suggest some markers for me that i can order online that will like paint markers or whatever that I can use that won't look like freaking shit so yeah alright that's the first first pass definitely I'm not a fan of that uh, so yeah gonna let that dry <clears throat> and uh, that's it unfortunately as you can tell I'm not not too happy with this result. 
Let's see, how's our eye looking? Focus, man, come on. Oh, that's the one I wiped. So yeah, this one's looking good. I'm, I'm okay with this eye. This one I'm gonna go over again, off camera. And I'm gonna keep keep playing with this to see, uh, see how it goes. But yeah, Sharpie pens, probably really good for drawing and outlining things that aren't on plastic or clear coated or any kind of uh, glossy paint, but uh, yeah. Uh, definitely not gonna use these too much in the future. I'm gonna try to do some panel lines on these guys with them, but for now, for now that's it. <coughs> All right guys, so uh, yeah, I did go to, <laughs> if you wanna see my trip to uh, Walmart when I went, uh, check out my channel. There I am. Check out my channel. I went to uh, Walmart and I went to uh, what do you call it? Lowe's. So uh, if you want to check those out, see me wear a mask and go to the store to look for these stupid things. I actually picked up a bunch of toys and other things, completely unplanned for. But uh, yeah, I was uh, pretty excited on the things I found. If you're into toy hunting and stuff like that, so uh, check out my channel. Um, that video should be up probably the same time as this video. So anyway, uh, thanks guys for watching this quick little update and uh, my progress on the paint uh, detailing and stuff of this magnificent piece that I love so much. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to call it a video for now. I'm going to leave you guys here and um, I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully I'll find another marker. Those of you that are customizers or you know about markers a little better, um, please recommend some kind of paint pen for me that I can use that's permanent at, and uh, can be used on plastic and other things. Uh, other than that, that's it. Uh, thanks everyone for watching and uh, yeah, see you next time. Live on and prosper. Keep it custom. <laughs> I don't have a saying for any of this, so but anyway. That's one of the things I picked up today. And those Jada Nano Back to the Future ones. Anyway, spoilers! Alright. Later, everyone.